Hi, my name is uh, Gagan Lutra, I'm a product marketing manager at Cypress Semiconductor. And we're here at Maker Fair to talk about Cypress's embedded products uh, for professionals and also for makers. Um, one of the products that we're talking about is PSOC, which stands for Programmable System on Chip. It's a microcontroller class based product, but with a varying degrees of flexibility around a standard microcontroller. Uh, as opposed to a standard MCU, a PSOC offers you flexibility in terms of analog resources, digital blocks, communication capabilities, including Bluetooth wireless, to uh, essentially build single chip systems that integrate the function of a lot of different ICs into one tiny small package, allowing you to make smaller products, uh, products that are uh, better in battery life, and products that really help you innovate and make something that differentiates. So the difference between a PSOC and a standard microcontroller stems from the, uh, from the origins that in a standard microcontroller is usually a fixed function piece of hardware in terms of the periphery around it. With the PSOC, the design paradigm is more like an FPGA where it's an open fabric where you, the designer, you, the engineer, can start populating that fabric as you want. So you decide what that chip looks like internally, how all the blocks inside the chip are interconnected, and also how that those blocks and those, those uh, peripherals route outside of the chip. So every time you program the flash on a PSOC, which you know, literally is a 10 seconds of a, of a task, you have essentially redesigned the hardware chip uh, by doing so. So that, that degrees of flexibility is really how, how PSOC is, is different from other microcontrollers. And then to complement that on the software side, we have our own IDE called PSOC Creator, uh, which allows you to do the whole design in a schematic based capture tool. So you're visually designing the way you think about your system uh, rather than looking up documentation and register addresses and so on. So that's, that's the whole story behind PSOC. You know, we're a professional engineering company who's been in the Silicon Valley for 30 plus years working with the top names in the consumer, automotive, industrial, and space and so on. Um, we want to bring our technology, our professional grade technology to the makers and the hobbyists and the DIYers. So the first thing we did was we removed that entry to barrier. Our development kits like this one right here starts at $10 and has a fully featured debug, ARM debugger in it and a Cortex M3 based microcontroller. Um, things like these as a fully certified Bluetooth low energy module um, that's ready to go into production. Um, you can buy something like this for $10 as well, as well as full-featured Arduino-compatible development boards with capacitive touch sensors and a bunch of other sensors around them that sell for $25. So we've taken that barrier to entry into hardware platforms away from the makers, instead of, uh, you know, instead of them having to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars for hardware and software to learn and get into a new technology, we've made that entry barrier really low cost, as with our dev kits that are between $5 and $25, and our software tools that are now entirely free. We don't charge any money for our software tools. They're free downloads from our uh, website, cypress.com. At Maker Fair, we've actually had this engagement for the last few months. Uh, we had a new product that came out late last year, PSOC 4 BLE, which is a ARM Cortex M0 based PSOC chip with a Bluetooth smart radio integrated into a single monolithic dial. So we kicked off a design contest using our, our new PSOC 4 BLE product and the dev kit that was associated with it. We challenged the Make community to, to create IoT products. And it could have been anything from a coffee mug that tweets its temperature to our design contest winner who made an uh, e-bike uh, where the PSOC does the entire battery management system and relays that information to a cell phone so he can log the data, see how many miles of range he has left, see what sort of charge he has left, so on and so forth. So really the, the build up from introducing the product to the maker community, uh, the maker community adopting the product, trying a few different things with it, culminating into this design challenge where we had tens of different entries and today we have the winner with us here today showcasing what he built and uh, we're also showing off some of our uh, products that we have here at Maker Faire. We also have our little Bluetooth modules hidden around the event space in these Easter eggs. And these are essentially acting like uh, Bluetooth low energy Easter egg beacons. You can uh, download our app called CY Smart or Sci Smart, available for both Android and iOS. It's a free download. And use the app to search for PSOC Easter eggs that are hidden around the show. Find these eggs, bring them back to us at the booth, and you can exchange them for goodies. It's been great, it's been great so far. We've had you know, people in the entire age range from six to 60, 
Um, the, the, ch the kids have, uh, have come over here and uh, played with some of our demos, like the Nerf blaster gun. Um, the adults have come and learned about the technologies, the software tools, the dev kits. Um, and, um, and, you know, people have come in here already knowing a lot about PSOC and the PSOC maker community, owing to uh, some of the uh, programs that we were running in the recent past, like this design challenge and so on.